Hi, welcome to part two of my makeup collection and total beauty stash declutter. Last time on Alexa Likes, you saw me declutter my makeup collection up to a certain extent. I got tired, started categorizing everything, and then didn't show you a clear shot of the declutter pile. So you'll see that in this video, don't worry. And there will be more to declutter, obviously. We moved my skincare from my Calyx bins to my Alex six drawer, the wide version. I figured that that would be the best way to have my skincare on hand. Like I just pull out a drawer and you can see everything flat and out and there's no escaping. Whereas when everything was standing up in the Calyx bins, I would just forget that I had certain things. Today, we're going to be consolidating the newest PR that I've received over the last year into my makeup and my skincare collection. In the process, I will continue to categorize things properly, like cleansers with cleansers, creams with creams, etc. You'll see me pull out duplicates to donate or to declutter if they have expired. Anything I really feel like I won't use, I'm gonna take it out as well. Little disclaimer, there is just a smidge of air conditioning noise in a small portion of this video because we have just hit Indian summer in Montreal. It's mid-September and it is so hot. Like I cannot wait to turn on my window AC right now, but it's so noisy. Going forward in this series, you will either see another long form video where I do decluttering of perfume, hair care products, my bathroom, and unrelated to beauty and such, I gotta do my closets and my dressers. This year, my prerogative has been to just downsize as much as I can and sort of curate routines for myself to create content, actually devote time to my appearance, all in the name of self-care and just pampering myself essentially. If you're interested in that kind of thing, definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're always notified of new videos. Hit the like button as well. It really helps me so, so, so much in the algorithm. And a lot of you have told me that even though you've been subscribed to me for years, you never see my videos pop up anymore and you had no idea that I was still making videos. If you don't like decluttering content or beauty content anymore, please unsubscribe. Declutter your subscriptions, man. D digital declutter is so essential. Like, it helps me actually if you unsubscribe if you don't feel like watching this kind of stuff. If you've made it this far, you probably like this kind of stuff. So let's just get into the video, y'all. <laughs> this is all the makeup we decluttered last time. I decided to just show you guys because I didn't show you a clear shot of this before. These are the spare containers I have so far. Obviously because I have duplicates of everything um, since mom is gone. Here we have the makeup drawers again. The shorter one is actually empty, as you guys saw. These couple of containers um, are from the shelf where I switched out the PR containers. Um, I got new boxes from Ikea because these ones are stained and old. I have rearranged my bookshelf since the last time we spoke just a little bit, but not really much has changed. I have my everyday makeup up here. I just Put the things I mainly use here for now. Stuff for the next campaign that I'm working on. Back there are those infamous cream blushes. This is a mix of PR and products that I have dabbled with. And then this is the basket of PR that is no more than a year old, more or less. I think I'm going to be taking a look at all of the skincare related items and separating that from the get-go. Oh, I also, oh my gosh, I forgot to show you guys something else. I forgot about this stuff in the other shelf that I have. No. So this was my Project Pan stuff that I just stopped touching after last year. And I have three PR packages. We can open that together if you like. Um, I'm definitely keeping these two palettes from Beauty Bay because they're my newest palettes. Wow, this is the Urban Decay that I have to compare with Moms. And uh, yeah, you know, I feel like being one of those really nasty people who keeps this palette. Why? 
I don't know. Should I... Should I be logical? Should I be rational? <laughs> Guys, help me. I can't be the only one. I'm going to smell the stuff from Merit because I've had a product from Merit go off before. Not because it was like bad or anything. It's just I find that makeup made in the 2020s tend to expire quicker or smell weird quicker. Especially brands that are like natural and they um have less preservatives max what were these oh these are eyeshadows I, I gotta check those and see if those are okay they're liquid eyeshadows oh i like this makeup forever setting powder like how many setting powders do i need oh my gosh I knew it. I knew. Okay, see, like, I previously decluttered this in my mother's makeup collection, and actually, there were two, but this was in my project pan. I knew it looked familiar for a reason. Anyway, I don't need to keep this. Like, for sure, for sure, I do not need the Annabelle Eye and Brow Palette. That's gonna be a definite declutter. More Dior. Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, is this a quad? Oh my god, this quad was so nice. Are you kidding me? More mineral powder translucent powder whatever i don't know if it's mineral oh these are really good to have these are like the brow cutters i like these the brow trimmers This from Elizabeth Arden is simply too old. Come on now. I can't just be keeping this for memory's sake. Next I have the Maybelline Total Temptations palette. I had this in a few eyeshadow projects. So in Pan Those Eyeshadows, I hit Pan on two shades. Am I going to continue using this? Probably not. Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. I know this is so old and I have two of these, don't I? doesn't fit in here. This is a highlighter. Oh guys, I don't know. I'm gonna have to pull things out of here that I feel are just products that make me feel guilty for not having used them that much. Speaking of which, Dior. This is the original Dior Rosy Glow, or at least the one before they started repackaging. It's a little bit speckled, but that started when I started using it. I think some of it kind of, some of it does oxidize a little bit. This is my mother's palette. And this was mine. We're gonna declutter mom's because hers was more used. And I told you guys already, these are the newest palettes. You know what I kind of feel like doing? This is kind of wild, but putting my palettes all in an excel sheet and looking up their release dates probably with chat gpt and see if i should throw them out maybe chat gpt can tell me so that i can feel less guilty about this we're gonna put that in here because the other one is too full Let's open these up, shall we? Oh. Oh, it's a bomb. <gasps> so pretty. And feel like this, let me just have a look. This is like a sort of an orangey tone red, I think. I could very easily gift that. I don't really want to keep something that I'm not going to use just for the sake of swatching it on Instagram. Next. Uh-huh. On the Glow Super Glow Highlighting Moisture Stick. 
Oh, the sun just disappeared. This is, isn't this so pretty? I, you guys can't really see it as much in person, but the plastic is pearlescent. Pixie always has really cute aesthetic packaging. And of course, they've got a more neutral version of this. Then, this is probably skincare treats. Oh uh, yeah, we're putting away the skincare portion right away. I have to actually segregate this better because I think some of this is not well organized. So this lip treat is gonna be added to the giveaway bag. I am going to have to do some cross-referencing to see what's in there. For now, I'm going to stick this all in my makeup drawers and I'm going to go back to the um, Beauty PR, which is a lot of skincare and I want to cross-reference with my PR drawers and then we'll go back to the makeup collection, which I find to be more daunting. Alright, as promised, I had a look at my brow products and honestly, uh, oops, this is a lip product. I've decided that since I prefer the Maybelline brow pencil, I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter the brow pencil from Marcel Nude by Nature and also this weird shaker ball one from Rimmel. I'm good. The shade is slightly off and it, these are things that I would put in Project Pan or try to tell myself that I was going to finish when I have other ones that I prefer. Like my mom stocked up on the Maybelline one and I'd rather use that even though it's old. It, it As long as it marks my eyebrows, I'm good. I tried out this Fade Your Shade lipstick from Essence. It almost looks like it's super dark. It's one of those tinted kind of like I think it's the response to the um, Clinique Black Cherry or whatever it was called thing that they had going on and um, personally I don't like it. it. It just looks too dark on my lips and I'm a nude lip girly. I like a pinky brown nude. Found these three samples that are not complete but should just get thrown away honestly. All right, y'all, I'm just taking some stuff out of the box and looking at it, and I'm going to cross-reference with what I have already in my drawer. Let's work on skincare first. There's some stuff from Dot and Lil. I know that's not duplicate. Bars of soap. Oh my goodness, I really want to use these. These are for a bath, so that can go in the bathroom. This is another cleanser. Oh lordy lord. So okay, let's just put these together because they're cleansers. That down there, those are serums. This is a mask. Another bath product. These bath products, I want to just get into the bathroom. Is this a candle? Please tell me it's a candle. Yes, this is a candle, guys. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to try out this candle. I love just candles in general. This was, uh, I hate that I like always remember it this way, but this was the last PR event that my mom and I went to together. And it's probably the first time I got invited to a PR, more like a PR event more than 10 years ago and brought her along with me. Cosmetics, cosmetics, cosmetics. Put those aside and look at them after. Skincare, oh my goodness. Am I going to be able to fit this into my drawers and will there be duplicates? More face masks. Are any of these the same and do they have like expirations and they- Oh, they do have expiration. What? But what is that? Can y'all tell me when this is? Expires 2108-26. Does that mean- I think it's 2026 because these are pretty recent. Y'all, these have expiration dates. The collagen masks say 2018, so I'm gonna get rid of these. And now that I realize that these, some of these have expirations. Okay, these are the after suns I just got. Relax, Alexa. That's okay. And then there's a vitamin C one, which is also more recent. I think that all of these Life brand ones are really old because I can't remember the last time I received PR for this stuff. I am just grabbing things that immediately shoot out at me to tell me, hey, I'm old and or you didn't like me. Um, 
I think the Body Shop Drops of Light, quite old, had this for a very long time. Uh, glow Mask, 15 minutes, facial. Uh, is that an expiration date? No, it's not. Gosh darn. They should really like have to because sometimes I don't know. I, okay, vitamin C package. I remember not that old. These are masks. Beauty counter. I'm going to get rid of this. It's a charcoal one. The bar soap I'll keep because it's a dry product, but I think I'm gonna get rid of the Olay mask detox charcoal thing too. Moment of truth. Uh, is this the same mask as this? Glow tonic cleansing gel. Ah, it's a closing, cleansing gel, not even a mask. So the mask will go here. Clarity lotion, oil free moisturizer. Um, I always love a new moisturizer. Put this like that. Um, actually, am I able to spread it out a little? That's fine. This is the rose cleanser with chamomile flower. I've got the cleansing gel with tonic and clarity. I'd like to keep these together, actually. I think that would be good. I have a lot of pixie stuff. It's like they're monopolizing me. Is this a, yeah, it's hydrating milk cleanser. So I've got the cleansers. These are all oil cleansers. And I've got, all right, so, hmm. Let's put these together, these together. What is this? Oh yeah, the one I just received and that. I've also got La Roche-Posay Effaclair. I could declutter that, but I'm actually almost finished the one at my boyfriend's house and I finished one here too. I'm using a different cleanser now. It's not the end of the world if I keep that. Oh wait, is it the end of the world if I keep that? Which one is most recent? Why did they send this to me twice? I'm getting rid of one of them. I think that's it for cleansers, you guys. Let's go into the drawer that scares me. Oh boy. Super Surge Concentrate. Like, even the texture looks kind of weird. I think these campaigns were really old. Olay Eye Creams. I think I got when I was with Procter & Gamble. Alright, Juviance Pixie Treats. This will go with the Pixie Treats. Oh matchy matchy i'm gonna put them upside down and right side up so that they fit nicely together oh, this is hard for me guys serum pull it dash dark spots okay this from clarins i can probably move it's a toner basically it doesn't even belong there uh, I've got some serums. The reason why I haven't taken these serums from Pixie out of the packaging is that they come with a stopper. Not a stopper, but like a dropper that, same with the La Roche-Posay, it comes with a dropper. And see, is this a duplicate? Uh, I don't need this container here. B5. I think it has a new look now. Are these the same? The Roche Posay with spring water, B5, and da da da. Yeah, it is. Let's declutter the old one. We've got B5, Effaclair, C10, Niacinamide, Creams. What is this? Is this? I'm getting rid of the OA. I think I can use that as a body cream. I do have another Olay too. Hmm, I already have a face cream at my boyfriend's house though. I don't know, I'll take one of them out. Use it as a hand cream. These 30 capsules from Skin Treats. We have a couple of newer skin products here. These are the Verify Power Trip and Self Absorbed. They recently repackaged or reformulated the Bye Bye Serum. Should I find another place for these creams? Or should the serums can all go this way? And the creams. Ah, 
that's good. I think that's better. Oh, and I have one more. Flarens Calm Essential Restoring Treatment Oil with Clary Sage Extract. Okay, so these are masks and oils. Do I have more oils? Aren't oils kind of like serums, but I don't want to put them up above. This I should probably take out. This is old. Come on, Alexa. Oh my goodness, I left a bit of a chaotic mess down here. I'm gonna empty this out, kind of, so that we can work in here. Oh. Should I put this with the face masks, even though it won't really go with the face masks because it's an eye cover? Sure. Okay. All the way down here are mist, setting mists and stuff. Should I put the toners in here too? I like to use the lids of boxes for this. Should I put the setting sprays here? This one, these can double up as skincare a little bit. This is also, it says makeup technically. Primer, primer, setting. Am I gonna get rid of this? Am I gonna get rid of this? I think so. I think I'm good. I, I know the Olay stuff is really dated. That's the problem. And I'm being such a hypocrite because the Super Mario, I don't remember how old that is. But I want it. I just want things that make me happy and excited. Oh, a glow mist. Is this one? Okay, I'm gonna think I'm gonna say that this one's for skincare. And this doesn't fit fantastically. Let's do it like that. Does this have an expiration date? Whatever. It's the pore filler from NYX. We will put these guys here. Oh, but did I say, did I really want to put the tonics exactly with the mists? You know what, I can read, I'm a big girl. <laughs> I'm gonna put them together. Because I also have other mists. Should the tonics be outside on the side and the mists right here? Clarity mist, bubbled mist, da 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 da. Um, I'm tempted to get rid of the Argan one. What? What? I'm not putting this on my face, probably. I mean, it doesn't. I don't know. It smells pretty intense, like it smells like a lot of stuff. It smells amazing. <laughs> oh, the other one that I'm contemplating is the Garnier Skin Active. Um, I know that this rose water is probably on, you know what, these are probably too old. Alexa. Trust me, I'm disappointed that everything is pixie, but that is the latest PR, so what can I do? I also have a pixie sea tonic here. Is there anything else in my other drawers that could go in here? I knew it was too good to be true. This will not fit in there, that's fine. I could keep this in the bathroom, but wait for it, okay? Guys, just... How am I supposed to fit these face masks in there? Impossible. That I'll also have to go below the sink, because what else can I do with that? And then, yeah, that's right, there's more. So, we've got the Collagen Tonic Botanical. Oh, technically, you know what? Let's put these setting sprays like that. That makes more sense. I've got the regular glow tonic as well. I've got Garnier Skin Active. And I think this is older because, again, I know when I haven't received PR for a while, 
I haven't received Garnier for a while, so smaller versions, Glow Tonic and Clarity Tonic. Oh, this is kind of annoying. Can I? Biotherm Life Plankton Essence. I know this is old. Let's be real, Alexa. A cleansing mousse. Um, I'll just put that right here. Rose Perfector, Radiance Perfector. Enhances complexion for smooth and easy radiant. And I think that this is a finisher. Guys, truthfully, I'm thinking it over and the packaging is just so cumbersome. I have one of these in my bathroom that I haven't finished in the other uh, quote-unquote flavor or fragrance. So I think I'm going to add these to my donation bag. Ultimately, here's all the skincare related beauty stuff that I am decluttering. I can stick it all back in this box. And this goes to the trash. Everything on the floor, this is the stuff that I just decluttered and or decluttered in my last video, the skincare. Now we've got more new makeup. This is all new. Okay. Oh, one of these things is skincare I forgot. The Clarity Blemish Stickers. Honestly, I feel like bringing this to my boyfriend's house because he's always complaining when he has an outbreak. So, I'm going to bring this into my makeup collection, I guess. Except, I think the other opportunity I have here is to do some content planning around some of these products because then I could actually use them. Um, what I'm particularly interested in sticking in some sort of a video would be for sure these items from Pixie. Anything on the glow I definitely want to use except this because this is a duplicate i have the shade in fleur already so i'm going to put this in the donate pile is that a freaking another primer oh my gosh actually there's two okay this is fine because oh, wait a second i have one in my cosmetics everyday box i might have to backtrack here this also, did we just put this in the skincare drawer? I thought so. I thought these were the same. They are. The Radiance Corrector, I've got two now, so I'm going to declutter one of them. Yup, I knew it. Here's another one. Hydrating Glow Primer. I don't need two of these. So I was going to put them in my drawer, but I decided I'm just going to put them in my everyday makeup bin so that I actually try them out because I don't have a primer in there right now. All right, we have a couple of Clarins foundations. I do want to try these out soon. Should I put them in a different bin? Oh, okay, I've got another one of these. I just noticed something, but okay. Well, let's move along now first. These two lip moisturizers. Oh yeah, this is another reason why it kind of annoys me to throw out Pixie packaging sometimes. The name of the product is not anywhere, so I'm going to have to look it up anytime I decide to review or feature this in content. Here's what I noticed, all right? What's this doing here? Another duplicate, of course. So, um, you know the drill. I'll be decluttering one of these. I've got two lip glosses that were from PR. One is from Watier and the other one is Morphe. As you can see, they've both been heavily used and I wanna continue to heavily use them. So I'll put this in my everyday makeup. I feel like this just keeps going. <laughs> okay, I've got two of these. These are, oh, it's the rose and the vitamin C one. I'm gonna check out my stash because I might have duplicates of these. And then I've got all of these. Isn't this pretty? Is this a lip gloss or an eyeshadow? Can you tell? Because I can't. I'm gonna have to actually look this up. I feel like it looks like a liquid shadow. A couple of these glosses from Clarins. I've been wanting to use these oil shimmers forever. So I'm gonna leave this here too. I'd like to try that on. 
Wow, another translucent powder because I totally need another one. Ooh. I might have to declutter some, so uh, I'll put this aside. I love me some Pixie so much that it's like difficult. Ooh, I tried this out. Not a big fan. I just tried it on again, and you know what? I don't really like it, so that's gonna get decluttered. Oh, glowy lip oil. Oh my god, so keeping this. Has anyone tried the Pixie Satin Lip Tints? Maybe I should do a lip swatch series with the newest PR that I have that I've actually kept. And just like post. I'll have something to post on Instagram. I'm not sure if anyone even cares. This totally looks like my lips, but better kind of sheer shade. But I just got one from Wati and did the campaign for it. And I'm tempted to just let this go because how many of this color of gloss do I need? And why would I keep it until it goes bad? We've got a lash boosting mascara. I could do it. Pixie made a whole bunch of lip glow products and I'm so excited to try this out. This is another mascara. What is this? Bye Bye Under Eye, a CC crayon for the under eye. I didn't know they still made CC anything. Endless Silky Eye Pen. Okay, guess this is an... Oh, it's actually a lash primer. I'm disappointed. I wish that that was a liquid eyeliner, but I think this is the liquid eyeliner. Yeah. Yeah? Lash line ink, probably. These will be for Instagram content or YouTube. In other news, sorry to interrupt regular programming. I think this is the same NYX pore filler as I have a backup for and I don't need the backup. So I'm going to add the backup to my donation pile. Bye. I found these couple of things in my everyday products. I was just checking some liners here. Um, I, yeah, you know, I'm good. I'm gonna let these things go. I found another one of these. This one is okay, but honestly, it's just okay. I'm good. Um, yeah, I have a lot of lip products, and when things are unlabeled like this, I'm just not tempted to use them. I ended up looking up the Crystalline, and it turns out this is a liquid eyeshadow, and it was released in 2018, but I know this sample is recent because it came in recent packages, so... I'll keep it for now and um, we'll just see. I'm definitely not going to finish this up, that's for sure. All of this stuff needs to go into my makeup drawers now. I apologize regarding the lighting because it's actually gotten late. I started filming this after work and it's like almost 7 o'clock now. This has stayed empty. I'm, I'm cool with that. This is just eyeshadows. That's where I stuck the uh, pixie, by the way. Then we have the mascara drawer, and when I took out the brow, brow stuff, we have the palettes, which I haven't touched. I just, oh. I think if I ever received that type of a product from pixie, I must have decluttered it right away. This will be the cream product drawer, and the glow kit is just there because I don't have space in the other drawer. I moved around the lipstick stuff to be able to fit everything in and um, I just brought all the lipsticks forward. I, I think this makes the most sense for now. Then we have the powder and complexion product drawer. And we've got the lashes and the couple of large palettes. I'm thinking maybe the super large palettes can go in here. And then the ones that I can, you know, like, here, let me show you what I mean. Like, maybe this Morphe palette, this Sample Bay Beauty. Amazing. There you go. And as stated earlier, these remained empty. Just proving it for you guys on the internet in case you don't. I have to clean that out and um, I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet. Oh, I have a couple of plastic pieces that should be moved. Oh, and this. And this little cover. So this is completely empty now. 
but this is PR stuff that I want to feature somewhere. These are opened products that I need to check to see if they're still good. Some sample skincare, again, either I use up or throw away. PR stuff from Watier because I'm working on a, cam a few campaigns with them. The cream, my cream products, sorry, um, my gimbal just died, so if it's shakier now, now you know. Then I have my everyday makeup bin. These were some everyday products. I've got to double check if these two are okay. These are new Watier glosses, some Watier stuff, uh, tweezers and brow pencils. I also don't need all of these right here. I can move those. Um, some face trimmers, some moisturizer, lanolin. I ended up using this basket for the PR samples and the mix of products that I already have opened. Campaign stuff, my agendas, my camera gear, the cream blushes. All is good. I'm really satisfied with how this turned out. I have definitely got to do some vacuuming tonight. Here's everything we decluttered today and in the last video you won't be seeing this pile anymore. This is going out and here's all the stuff that we're going to be donating. That was a lot but that was not as cumbersome as I thought it would be and it was so much easier than my last declutter. So I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and I will see you in my next one. Bye!